All right, guys, so I'm back home and I am totally freaking out right now and disgusted. Okay, guys, Wumbo High Squad. Don't panic, because I am right now. Remember this, the, the pimple? I finally know what it is. And it's so gross. Okay, guys, my boy squad, I've discovered that this is not a pimple. I think it is. A botfly larva. Oh, it's so gross. Okay, if you guys don't know about the disgusting world of botflies, all right, there is a fly that manages to get its maggots into mammals where they grow underneath the skin, eating the flesh, and then they pop out when they're fully developed and ready to pupate and then turn into adult flies. It's really gross. I think it's a botfly larva because I saw like this little black head to it. That's where they breathe. Ugh. I mean, perhaps I'm overreacting. Maybe it is a pimple, but I watched it grow and have you guys seen the Animal Planet show Monsters Inside Me? <laughs> Ever since I saw that episode, I've been looking at pimples with black heads and like paranoid that they are bot flies. And I think this is a bot fly, guys. I popped the pimple, I put medicine on it, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it. If another one pops up somewhere else, it's definitely a bot fly. Ew, and I don't know how to get rid of it. It's so gross. Ew. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> Yuck. I hope it's not a bot fly. I hope it really is just a pimple. In case you're asking how people get bot flies, they can get it through several ways. One way to get it is the adult fly lays her eggs on like clothing that humans hang outside. And then, you know, when you do laundry and it has to dry and then you use it and then the eggs like latch onto your skin and the heat from your skin activates the egg to hatch. And then the tiny microscopic maggot burrows into your skin and that's how it gets in you. Another way is it can get into you through the soil. Like the bot fly will lay the eggs in the soil and then if you put your hands in soil and then you touch yourself, it like crawls into your skin. And guys, I had my hands in soil the other day when I was filming my Beetle Ants Canada video. Gross. <laughs> Another way is uh, bot flies can lay their eggs on a mosquito. And then if a mosquito lands on you, it bites you. The heat from your skin activates the egg to dislodge and then the maggot hatches and then goes into your body. Not only humans can get bot flies, but dogs, cats, other mammals, warm-blooded creatures. It's so gross. <laughs> Nasty. I hope it's not. But if it is, you better believe I'm gonna film it for Hence Canada. <laughs> I'm here at CrossFit now with Raquel. Yes. Okay, so this is my first CrossFit class, like the legit advanced, well, intermediate class. I was excited. A, um, a little bit scared. Yeah, I can tell from his face. <laughs> yes, and I feel like my butterfly larva. <laughs> I don't know if it is. It's like. I hope during this workout it'll come out. Okay, before we start every class, we introduce ourselves and there's a question you have to answer. She asked what your New Year's resolution is. Eat responsibly. Eat responsibly? Yeah. Good. Uh, my name is Mikey and it's to be more eager. Yeah. A anything work eager and hungrier. Okay, uh, we're doing squats. You see that? Oh boy. like a gymnast and I'm gonna have some of this oh, awesome wow oh my god that's so heavy okay guys 
to help my lower back, I have this. It feels like a corset. <laughs> I can't breathe. Go, Kaz. Go, Kaz. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> I, it's scary, yeah. This class is a little scary. Look at that. Like, it's it's it, it's more intense. Oh, oh my god. Do you know how to drop it if you can't handle? Always. OMG, this class is scary. I'm never coming back. Oh my god. This class is so hard. How is this humanly possible? Seriously. Oh my god. Stay for the second class. Oh my god. Good job. Good job. You too. The class is not done. <laughs> Raquel, how do you do two classes in an in a day? This is impossible. Go guys. Okay, now we're taking we're taking photo photo up because we're Filipino. Good morning, Mabuhay Squad. Yes, glorious morning. Progress on the hair. You see that? Ligaya's awake. Mm -hmm. Oh, and she pooed. <laughs> what do you guys think? Hair is growing in real thick now, huh? Um, in terms of the botfly larva, it's like, I don't know if it's a pimple, but there, again, there's like this black tip. There's like a black head to it. You see? I don't know if it's a botfly larva yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good morning, Likaya. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I also cannot move my legs. Seriously. My legs are so sore. And I know this is just the beginning. The worst is the next day. Like tonight and tomorrow. My legs will be so stiff. What? What? Wow, so aggressive. All right. I'll scratch. I'll scratch. Mm -hmm. Guys, let's practice some recall. Nagaya, mm -hmm. time for cardamom. Yeah, time for cardamom. Okay, maybe the seeds aren't working. Sometimes she wants it, sometimes she doesn't. This is why I haven't been doing recall training so much because she doesn't like love <laughs> sunflower seeds, but she will come for this. Okay, come. Let's try that again. Gaia, yeah, yeah. time for outside. All right. <laughs> See, little bribery. She's like a child. Little bribery goes a long way. It's time for outside. <laughs> yeah, happy now, the guys. Soaking up this beautiful sunlight. Mm. Now, you know, last night, undoubtedly, the hardest workout of my entire life. Uh, I believe I died, and like my body, and like my soul left my body, and I saw aliens in distant galaxies. Seriously, though, I was dead like there were points where i was like i cannot go on this is hard but i ended up finishing surprisingly and then when i was given the option to stay for the second class the class that i usually stay for the easy class but it's not easy at all by the way i stayed i actually stayed and um i remember towards the middle of like every round of exercises i was like i can't do this i'm gonna stop but what i love about CrossFit, about going to the gym, working out, 
is the whole process of setting a goal. Like, you know your goals. You know how many reps you gotta do, you know. And then working all the way to perceived failure. Speaking of which, I'm just gonna cross the street before I street cross fail. Okay, and then working to perceived failure and then surpassing that point. It's really amazing how your mind tricks you into thinking you cannot reach a certain goal or you can't get to the finish line. And that's why I love working out in CrossFit because it's really just goal setting and challenging yourself. Um, and then when you finally reach the goal, you're just like, wow, I can't believe I did it. Like honestly, one of those exercises last night was a timed exercise. And I had like five minutes left to finish a bunch of exercises, I'm like, I'm not gonna finish it. I, I won't make it. But the coach was like yelling at me, don't stop, keep going. And I finished. And at the end I was just like, oh, my brain told me I couldn't finish, but my body actually did. And so it always reminds me that sometimes your worst enemy to achieving a goal is yourself, like your own mind. Sometimes your mind doesn't believe that the, your body and your entire self can reach a certain goal. But in reality it can, it's fully capable. Oh man, that was, last night was really something. Don't you guys think, hmm? Was there a time you guys thought you couldn't do something but you ended up doing it? Let us know in the comments. I would love to hear your inspiring story. Of course this sign says no parking anytime, but there's no sign about perching. <laughs> Chill out. You guys enjoying this outdoor time. She really looks forward to it. And I love taking her outside. In the Mabuhai Squad home, um, our aviary will have full sunlight from the roof. Um, it'll be perforated roof, of course. So rain and wind and sunlight can get in for her when she's in there during the day. I'm really excited about having an aviary built in our future Mabuhai Squad home. In case you're just joining us, um, last year bought a farm property and building a home on it like literally from the ground up literally designed it with uh in collaboration with our architect dennis who happens to also be our friend um and one of the best parts of this house is the aviary in the middle if you haven't seen the vlog a couple of days back where we go through our latest design plans you should check it out i'll leave a link right there Yes, Ligaya. Mm -hmm. No more being cooped up in my condo. You will have free flight of a large, large three-story aviary. Do you want that? Mm -hmm. You deserve that. That's why. People ask me why I spoil my bird so much. And yes, of course, it's because I love the bird. And yes, it's kind of like a child. But also, she's very much a wild animal. Like, she didn't choose to be born as a captive pet, you know what I mean? She could have been born in Africa, where she's from, the Congo. But no, she was born as a captive pet, so that kind of also isn't fair. So I, I figure, you know, if she's gonna be a captive pet, born under my care, I'm gonna do my best to give her the best life that she could have had, had she not been born in captivity, you know what I mean? Mind you, yes, under our care, She's protected from predators and that sort of thing. She doesn't have to worry about where her next meal is coming from, right? She doesn't have to contend with all those challenges in the wild, um, possibly even diseases and stuff and parasites. But still, I, that, this is why I spoil the bird because she really is a wild animal and kind of doesn't belong in captivity. And it, I guess this is, it's my way of solace and reconciling that. Give you the best life I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that I could just sit here and chill and drink my coffee. Oh my, my screen is so dirty. I'm sorry, Mabuhai Squad. Seriously. Time for me to get another vlogging camera, right? Okay, so turns out I don't think it's botfly larva. It's just kind of an infected pimple. Thankfully, I guess my body's getting used to all of this hair now. So my scalp is pimple free and my skin is starting to get back to normal. Thankfully. I, I just can't wait to have a full head of hair and have it blow in the wind, style it, you know what I mean? I'm already fantasizing about having hair. I'm wondering when I should shave the sides and back. You know what I mean? So that this top is, is higher. Again, I'm committing, guys, to this hair growth. Setting goals, right? <sighs> yeah. 
What's up, Mabuhay Squad? Yes. So, it's currently 1 a.m. in the morning. I can't sleep. <laughs> and there's a reason I can't sleep. And there's a reason why I'm outside in this unholy hour. Um, but it's something that's keeping me up. And it needs to be dealt with ASAP. Mabuhay squad. Right now, I am up because 